we're going to look at the pressing aspect within defending. Pressing is a sub-principle of our principles, and the principles is how we are going to accomplish our goals. As a reminder, our defending principles are pressure, cover, organize and shape, squeeze, and emergency defending. So what is pressing? Pressing is a process in which the defending team intends to pressure the opponent which possesses the ball. We use pressing to give the opponent less time to disallow the opponent to create and force the opponent into a turnover. The key idea is pressing is a process and it will use the principles of defending. So what might pressing look like? Sometimes it's just as simple as showing desire and enthusiasm to run after opponent on the ball. It could be a reaction to a trigger that indicates there's a chance to win the ball. A trigger could be an example of a player taking a bad touch or a slow pass or maybe the opponent is facing the goal that they are defending. Pressing could look like immediately applying pressure when you lose the ball. So if you lose the ball or give it away, can you immediately get close to the player with the ball and try to get them to put their head down? Pressing at the higher levels is coordinated team movement. There it's used to apply pressure and make play predictable and eventually win the ball back. So what do we need to press? We need to know our principles, our five defending principles, pressure, cover, organize and shape, squeeze, and emergency defending. But we also need to scan and communicate. We need to know where the opponent can escape, and we need to give information to our teammates. We need to be able to read cues. So is the opponent's head down? What is the speed of the ball? What is the flight of the ball? How is the opponent's touch? What area of the field are we in? Typically, when we talk about pressing, we're closest to the goal that we are attacking. But we can use pressing in any area of the field. React. Can you regain the ball? Did you just lose it? Are we able to prevent the ball from going forward? I like to use the term, can we get angry and get the ball back when we lose it? We need to apply pressure. So are we running at the ball under control? Can we contain or trap the ball in a certain area? And can we force the ball carrier to put his or her head down? And then cover and connect. So if you're the second closest player to the ball, you should be covering or helping the pressure player. Are you covering and helping? Can we create a web to trap the ball with all the players around the ball? One term that is very popular these days is gegen pressing. So Jurgen Klopp is known for his high pressing defending and a form of counter pressing. Counter pressing is defending that puts immediate pressure on the ball as the opponent is attempting to counter attack. So for example, we just lost the ball. If we go and immediately put pressure on them while they're trying to escape and create a goal scoring opportunity, that would be considered counter pressing. He uses this with Liverpool and some of his old teams at Dortmund. Here's an example of, ge of Gagan pressing. Gagan pressing is a development aimed specifically at winning the ball back as soon as it has been lost. A player who has just won the ball is vulnerable because he may still be getting the ball under control. He has just expended energy in the challenge and he may not have had time to fully appreciate the distribution of his teammates and opponents on the pitch. There are variations. Some coaches, Some coaches Jupp Heynckes, Jupp Heynckes in his days at Bayern, Bayern, for instance, send one send man, one to, the man ball, to the ball while others, while others close down potential, down potential recipients, recipients of the pass. Of the pass. Klopp, tends Klopp tends to surround the man, the man the ball, ball, and Guardiola, Guardiola seems to prefer blocking, prefer blocking the passing, passing lanes between, between the man in possession, possession, possession and potential, potential recipients. recipients. The biggest the problem for all of them is knowing when to stop, when a team should stop hunting the ball and should fall back into defensive shape. So effective, so effective has the tactic been that the proportion, the proportion of open, of open play, goals play goals scored on the counter attack in the Champions, Champions League, League has almost has half, half in the last, in the last decade. decade. Okay, so some examples of what pressing may look like. And notice these numbers are indicative of a seven versus, or 9 versus 9 or 11 versus 11 system. So on the picture to your left, the blue center back has the ball. Nine is applying pressure and trying to force play and make it predictable. Eleven and ten are covering, and seven and eight are squeezing. 
for for this example, it's important that each player that's in a cover or squeeze position knows where their opponent is and where the escape routes may be. In the second picture to the right, the blue player passes wide. Now 11 becomes the pressure. 10 and 9 are both the covering players as they get closer to the ball. And 7 and 8 are squeezing. This is a very simple example of pressing. And this is an example that you'll see quite often in the youth game. But here's just what we're going to be trying to work on over the next few weeks within our pressing. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding any of our principles or defending aspects, contact one of your team coaches or one of our directors.